Okay, I noticed the internet going crazy about this viral math problem right here. What's the answer? You know, all these people in the chat rooms. I know, because I remember from when I was in middle school. I remember, yeah, I have a degree in whatchamacallit, and so listen to me, you're wrong. You know, um, love the people are passionate about it. You know, love the people remember some stuff uh, about math. Math teachers like myself, middle school math, we just wish, you know, you would have asked. You know, we're all on extravagant vacations in the summertime. And uh, I'm back to get my classroom ready, and I figure I'd help some people out, if possible. Who knows, maybe I'm wrong. I don't think so, though. Um, and yeah, this is tricky stuff. I will also say, this can get tricky for sure. It's a conversation that um, most all math teachers have with their students at some point. Um, and we're like, hey, remember uh, PEMDAS? Or maybe we teach the PEMDAS. Whoa, okay. Um, and then we just have to go over it. You know, there's some finer points that people forget or people never quite realize. Um, and something like this is helpful. Obviously, a lot of people remember this. Boom, stuck in the brain. But the underlying uh, rules behind this are lost on people. People don't quite understand those fully. And I think that's the main problem here. So let's start off by changing this a little bit. A lot of teachers have it written like this, PEMDAS with the M and the D together and the A and the S together for some reason. Hmm, seems weird, uh, but maybe we'll make sense of it. Yeah, we'll start with our parentheses. That's like saying do this first. Um, exponents, shortcut for multiplying. Um, then multiplying and dividing. Multiplying is a shortcut for adding, okay? Um, and then adding and subtracting. Adding is a shortcut for counting, so maybe it kind of makes sense why we go this way. There might be another video to explain that further. I don't know, maybe check around, like, subscribe, all that stuff, and maybe I will have made a video about that. Anyways, back to this. So the reason why M and D on the same line is it really doesn't matter if it's multiplying or dividing. You need to focus on what comes first from left to right. And already people are like, oh no, he's he got the wrong answer, he's got the wrong answer, this guy, he doesn't know what he's talking about. Um, multiplying and dividing are really like the same thing. Opposite directions, but like the same thing, okay? Talk a little bit more about that in a moment. Adding and subtracting are like the same thing, but just in opposite directions. So if it comes down, to a multiplier divide, um, you just need to see what comes first from left to right. Got a little example, uh, separate from the problem you really wanna know about. If we're, if we're subtracting seven minus three, that equals four, and that's the same thing as seven plus a negative three equaling four. So um, hopefully this helps you see that subtraction really is addition. It's adding negative things, but it's the same deal. And we'll check that out with the multiply divide in a moment. Let's get back to our problem that everybody's so up in arms about. Eight divided by two, multiplied by, that's what parentheses really means, two plus two. So yeah, a lot of people remember to start with the uh, parentheses, two plus two is four, boom, you got it. A lot of people I noticed in the chat rooms were, uh, had that under control, okay? Now exponents, no exponents, nice. Don't have to worry about that. We're gonna spend the rest of our time on this step right here, multiplying, dividing, all right? We do need to go from left to right. Sorry, people. So that means we're gonna have to do eight divided by two, which is four, yeah. Um, and then, still multiplying, but the next thing from left to right, four times four. 16. Yeah, so it is 16, not one. Well, but wait, but wait. A lot of people are thinking, a lot of people are saying, commenting to themselves at home. Um, but, you know, we're supposed to multiply before we divide. Well, this division right here, dividing by two, we could look at it as multiplying. Why don't we think about this or change this to multiplying by a half? Same thing. Dividing by two or multiplying by a half, splitting things into a half, it's the same thing, okay? So if we're looking at it that way, and maybe it helps you to turn that parentheses into multiplication as well, then it's just two separate multiplications, and yeah, we have to go from left to right there. 
And speaking of the notations, the way we write things, that's a big thing that's tricky for people um, and hard for people to remember the rules on. Um, so it takes a little bit of time, but maybe this helps for you to see that the answer is 16. I know some people still like, wait, we can distribute right here. We have to distribute. No, because this isn't really two, not really. This is something divided by two. So we have to do that stuff first before it gets multiplied by what was in the parentheses. Um, and yes, again, number outside the parentheses means we're gonna multiply. Um, oh, but wait, some people are thinking, division, we could turn that into like a fraction, eight's on the top, I'm not even gonna show it because it's not right. Um, we would have to have a parentheses or bracket around this stuff telling us to do all this stuff first. And we don't see that, okay? So we do have to uh, divide eight by two or multiply it by half um, and multiply it by the four to get 16. So uh, good luck on this sort of problem.